to be or not to be? That is the question. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Since I've started astrophotography, I've been using this DSLR camera as my main astrophotography camera to capture the night sky. Until this year when I started to have errors up to the point I could not use my DSLR with any of my lenses. And also the aperture lever inside the camera could not control the aperture of the lenses any longer. Now let's begin with the smaller problems that I encountered using my DSLR for astrophotography. The first one was the mirror stack error or shutter error. This error you can have it even if you are not doing astrophotography. However, it did happen to me for the first time doing a long exposure and it was very cold outside. I remember it was winter and my camera battery died. The mirror was up and the sensor was capturing photons from uh, that nebula. Then the battery died and this error happened because it discharged when it was actually doing an exposure. When I changed the battery with the other one that was charged and I turned on the camera, the DSLR displayed an error message and also my DSLR live view did not work anymore. Good news is that we have an easy fix for this uh, error. You just need to press here the shutter button like this and normally the mirror will move into the correct position the error message will disappear and you'll be able also to use the live view of your camera another important thing you should consider when using a dslr camera with a telescope if you use any adapter like this one this is a two inch tito adapter this one is other adapter i believe m48 so if you let's say connect a dslr camera with an M48 adapter to a 2 inch eyepiece, then you should really check that uh, is correctly attached, not to fall down from the telescope. This might kill your camera. It did happen to me once, however, I was lucky and at that time nothing uh, bad happened and my DSLR did survive the fall. Now let's continue with the second problem that I had with my DSLR camera while doing astrophotography. One night I was outside imaging the moon with my Tamron 70-300 mm lens. And I think I was around 300 mm at f5.6 focal pressure. However, when uh, using the Tamron 70-300 and I wanted to stop the lens to f8, so I can get sharper details with the moon, my camera stopped working. This was the first major issue that I did have with my DSLR. So you might wonder how it works now. It works because I fixed it and I will tell you in this video how. Image at F8, I had that error displayed again on my camera and this time I had to turn off the the camera like this i turned it off then turned back on again and i went back with the aperture at the smallest aperture uh, possible in this case is f2.8 i did try also my other lenses and i had the same issue well i didn't know how to fix this problem at that time so i decided to call a friend garnet larry um, one of the most common failures in, a, in an older camera is the battery bank itself that receives the battery. That's oh. typically what's going to go first, that or the shutter mechanism. Um, it sounds like a power issue, so I think it's the inside of the battery bank. Try um, running the camera off an AC adapter. I was going to say the main problem is the age of the camera. 
Oh, it's only... as it progressively gets older and you take it outside more, you're going to have more issues. Do you think five years <laughs> and three years of us photography is uh, some uh, some uh, age on the camera? Yeah, you have a lot of humidity there. It's yeah, cold. yeah, and I use it at minus fifteen degrees in the winters outside, <laughs> like all night. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Before you started automating, you were out there all the time. Just in this year, I was using mostly my DSLR camera, and having these issues, I decided also now to buy a dedicated camera, uh, same sensor size, but it's uh, cooled. I can cool it mm -hmm. at minus ten, minus fifteen, and uh, to be honest, it's a bigger difference in quality than I expected. If you do want to see also the difference between uh, the SLR camera and the cooled dedicated camera, check also my videos with the, the Altair 26C. My friend was convinced that buying a continuous charger will solve the problem. He told me to buy an AC adapter. I, I did bought this adapter. It works with an USB and you can uh, place it in a power supply or you can just go and use a uh, USB port. I have a USB port here and it works. So I said, okay, let's see if this will solve the problem. And I took the battery off like this and place the charger. I place the charger instead. For that moment, it worked. I was able to change the F number to F8, F11, now let's continue to our biggest problem that I had this year. Up to the point I could not use my DSLR with any of my lenses. And also the aperture lever inside the camera could not control the aperture of the lenses any longer. The camera worked with the continuous power adapter. However, mm. Uh, it seems the problem was more, I think, that the contacts. I found out that actually the aperture lever inside the camera wasn't working properly and it got stuck in the opposite position. I compared with my other camera and noticed that on the other camera was higher. And mm -hmm. on this one, on this camera, it was lower. Inside the camera, this lever that will move the the aperture level of the lens so this needs to be up in this position if it's down you have a problem when you connect the lens and it will not open the iris it was like uh, here you see it was stuck and you need to try and move it back so this needs to be up and not to have play it needs to stay fixed here if you can move it up and down easy, then you need to push it a little bit and just press it a little bit to see if it stays fixed. If not, the aperture will not work properly. So it will close after a few milliseconds when you are taking the image. Now it works properly and I will be able to use again my Nikon DSLR camera. Well, I hope this video was useful and it will help you in case you'll have similar problems with your DSLR camera. Thank you all for watching and if you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you soon in my next video.